Bowman Wellness Trading, Trainer Bowie, Dorian here again. Uh, we're going to go through a standing flow sequence that you can throw down with uh, that'll help kind of free up the hip space okay, or the tight imbalance positions that typically people walk around with. Particularly, they're going to walk around with what we call an external bias. When they go to move in those set positions, it can cause a lot of grief, okay, because you're not necessarily learning how to load the muscle tissues as opposed to loading the joints in that set position. So what we like to do is a standing flow sequence of exercises that'll help free up some space and can kind of mimic things you would do in a workout, especially when you start getting moving and the intensity level really ramps up. Lunges, squats, jumping, changing direction, stuff like that. Okay, the first one we're gonna do, just hands are here, I'm gonna step over. When I'm stepping over in that particular position, I'm looking at pulsing the pelvis through. Okay, I don't wanna take an aggressive step ahead. And I wanna feel like I'm pulling my shoulder blades back. You should feel a stretch down the back component. Okay, I would do three to five reps either side. Next one I would throw down on it. My knees are out, pop my knees out. I'm gonna take a step, spell the letter L with my heels. When I go to drive to this position, what I'm looking out for is this knee. If this knee is collapsing in, I'm not gonna feel the stretch or feel the mobility that I wanna gain or garner from this particular position. What I need to do is keep torque in that knee where I'm pushing the knee out here, and I'm stepping and driving my hips through. So the speed will look something like this. I load the tissues, I step through, and I'm extending. Okay, again, three to five on each side. Now, getting back into some hamstring mobility and kind of loading the tissues in that sense with the posterior lengthening component. I want to step back. When I go to step back here, I'm reaching for that foot. Now, again, if I have an external bias, what can happen is this foot will start to turn out externally. And I want to stay away from that because I'm not really loading the right tissues. Again, I'm just going to load joints and I'll put my spinal column in a bad, weird, fixed position. So I got to be mindful of creating torque or creating hip position first and foremost as opposed to reacting with external bias. So when I go to take that step, I'm almost pushing my hip out and I'm reaching there. You're going to feel the stretch a lot better that way. Okay? Again, I would do two, three to five on each side. Then what I'm going to do is actually add a bit of a rotation where I'm stepping and as I like to say, filling that gap or that hole that I left behind. Okay, and that's getting more of the external components of the hamstring. Okay, I can also start flowing into some other stuff to help with dorsiflexion and opening up hip space and opening up the core. Again, I need to start with torque or some type of presence or tension that comes from my shoulder blades coming down and back. Torque to my knees, my feet are straight ahead, I'm squeezing my glutes when I go to take a step. I'm driving off the back foot, pushing dorsiflexion as my hip extends through. It helps stretch out all these components that can get quite tight and tacked down from life. Okay, I'm just stepping through, driving and finishing. Okay, again, I could do up to eight to 10 on each side. Okay, another good one is I wanna get used to side sequencing or being able to change direction. For a lot of us, talking about that external bias again, we go to change direction, it's done in a very, unsafe or unloaded manner. Okay, I have my external bias here when I need to change direction, I'm not actually loading my hips. Not to mention, when I'm in that external bias, I'm gonna be quite tight down the side fascia line, which helps me with rotation and balance and stuff like that. So it's important that you're adding that into your sequence of warm-ups. Again, this is all about adding torque or adding what I like to call triple loading. The ankle joint, the knee joint, the hip joint, all load in one sequence. I'm going to sit into that said sequence, sitting behind my back, and I'm gonna reach against the grain, opening up all those tight components on the side fascia line or the side muscle group. Okay, and this will start adding or inducing or facilitating a better weight transfer or transition. So again, I sit here, I rotate through, push it through, okay, and I'm extending through. Well, those are some excellent warm-up sequences that you could throw down on to help get your hips ready and help get your impact on point, okay? So you're not putting yourself in compromising positions and you don't pull or hurt anything moving 